YouTubers, welcome back. This is your girl, Miss Faye. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some behind the scenes. I have one of my models, Sherry Reed, that's going to be uh, participating in a video shoot. So, I wanted to let you guys capture uh, actually position from to end. Please stay tuned and stay fab. Smooches. Now, this is actually Sherry. Um, Holding. Share my most favorite, really good face. We're gonna do today is gonna do like an aqua pink uh, look. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Now we just not learning how to use this outside, so definitely work with us. I want to make sure that you guys can actually get to capture Sherry the way that I actually love Sherry. So just stay tuned. Stay fab. And we're going to start. I've already started with the base of her makeup just so that we can lock in all of her colors. Now I'm going to actually proceed to. Her bottom color, which is going to be a pretty aqua blue, and of course this is coming out of my palette. It's a colorful, colorful palette. We're going to be using a lot of the blues today, a lot of the blues. So um, I'm actually going to be using a fluffy brush to actually apply these colors. This is actually the fluffy brush. Um, like I told you, the bigger the brush, the more potent the color more space it will actually put on to your shadow on your face the, the smaller the brush vice versa the less shadow so we're going to start uh, by just dabbing it in very gently and placing this color on top of a liner that I've already applied to her eye and we're just going to tap this into the liner and this is actually going to help set the shadow to her eye. So just take a look at that. This is actually how you tap it into the liner. You don't have to worry about being perfect because this is just making sure that the makeup gets onto the liner so it actually has something to stick to. Take it up into her crease. Taking it up into her crease. As you can see, we've actually taken it in from the bottom mm -hmm. into the crease of her actual eye. Now I'm going to actually take another color and do the same thing, but this is going to be a lighter color. I'm going to take it from where I left off to the middle of her eye. And if you're not sure where to begin or end your colors, follow the crease of your eye. You actually can see creases in your eye. Where that color actually stops should be in the crease if you want more of a toned down look, more balanced, half partial eye. Make sure that you just follow that. So if you look at it, you actually can see that I've actually stopped at the crease of her eye because that's why we actually be adding her dramatic color.
Like I said, ladies, always keep you a towel so that you actually can wipe off any excess of colors when you finish with the shadow. Now I'm actually going to be using more of an angled brush. to add in more of her dramatic color, which is going to be a darker blue to the creases of her eyes. The reason why you use an angle brush for this lady is because if you don't necessarily know how to put your makeup on, the angle brush will guide you into the creases of her eye, of your eye, anyone that's using an angle brush's eye. You want to take the same color at the bottom of her eye. Okay. take the black and I'm going to take this with one of my fluffy brushes, round tip brushes, and I'm going to dab it into black and I'm actually going to go just at the edge of her eye. with my another fluffy brush I'm going to go in I'm going to add a little bit of gray now you can actually see it starts to take, you actually can start to see it taking its shape. And now I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush just to blend out all of these colors. Because when you're doing your makeup, ladies, you should not be able to see where a color begins or where it ends. That means it's not blended well enough. So if you can see, oh, well, she has blue, and that's yellow, and that's red, and that's, it's not a good thing. I'm going to take this fluffy brush also at the bottom of her eye and just blend in any excess of that makeup. brush which is this brush here this is a sponge brush I'm going to take my highlighter color and my highlighter color is going to be like gold and I'm going to take it at the top corner of the eye from the brown and work it down 